the rock from which metallic iron is extracted most commonly occurs in the form of hematite or magnetite. Hematite has historically dominated Australia's iron ore industry. 96% of Australia's iron ore exports are high-grade hematite, most of which comes from the vast Hammersley province in Western Australia's Pilbara region. While magnetite is an emerging industry in Australia, globally it accounts for approximately 40% of iron ore production. With hematite quality declining and available levels of prized lump ore falling, steel mills the world over are increasing their demand for magnetite. Magnetite is the most magnetic, naturally occurring mineral on Earth. Its properties were known by the ancient Greeks, but Chinese mariners were the first to float a stick of magnetite in a bowl of water to create a simple compass. Magnetite iron ore deposits were well known for interfering with the compasses of early explorers and sailors. The attractive properties of magnetite would in later years help make the resource one of even greater attraction to the iron ore industry. High-grade hematite is often referred to as direct shipping ore, or DSO, because it requires minimal processing before export. After crushing and screening, the ore exported from Australia is generally between 56 and 62 per cent iron. In the ground, magnetite ore has a lower iron content than hematite, but simple processing produces high-grade concentrate, or pellets, of 65 to 70 per cent iron, a higher grade than the DSO currently being exported from the Pilbara. With more iron units per tonne, overall shipping costs are effectively less for magnetite compared with hematite. Processing magnetite requires initial crushing and screening, just like hematite. The second stage takes advantage of the natural magnetic qualities of the ore by using large magnetic separators to extract the iron, producing a high-grade concentrate. Further conventional processing turns the concentrate into a pellet, a form of artificial lump suitable as direct feed for a blast furnace. The result is a premium product that attracts higher prices from the steel makers. For steel makers focused on running their giant blast furnaces as efficiently as possible, magnetite, with its high iron content and low impurities, is a preferred feedstock, delivering multiple benefits. Compared to most Pilbara hematite products, Australian magnetite concentrate contains a fraction of the phosphorus, sulphur and alumina, all of which are critical in the efficient production of quality steel products. With a high iron content, magnetite pellets increase blast furnace productivity and can produce high quality products without the need for additional feedstock blending or sintering. The chemical makeup of magnetite also means less heat is required to produce steel compared with using hematite feeds, resulting in significant energy savings, lower emissions and better productivity for steel makers. Using magnetite in steel production means a significant reduction in the overall carbon footprint. It more than offsets the additional energy required to process the magnetite ore into concentrate. Globally, the highest grade deposits of hematite are being depleted. Grades of DSO are declining, the quantity of lump ore is falling, and impurity levels are rising, while the demand for premium steel in China and India continues to grow. An increasing number of steel mills are blending high-quality magnetite concentrate with hematite in order to boost the quality of their product and the productivity of their furnaces. Currently, there are only two magnetite pelletizing plants in Australia. Several more magnetite projects are in development, spurred on by demand from steel makers in Asia. Magnetite is a value-added product, one much undervalued in Australia until now. For producers of the world's premium quality steel, Australia's magnetite is a most attractive commodity.